in the cases of infertility we can have certain assisted reproductive technologies so science has made advancement in terms of these technologies so that the couple can actually have a child and that child can be produced you know very very normal so we can have certain technologies namely we can have ivf that is that is in vitro fertilization or you can say in vitro fertilization then we have ait that is artificial insemination technique then we have gif that is gamete intra fallopian transfer and then we have zif that is zygote intra fallopian transfer so when we talk about this assisted reproductive technologies then these technologies can help the couple to have a child to have a normal child so let's discuss the first technology under this that is ivf that is in vitro fertilization now by this techniques we can have test tube babies so you must have heard about this name that is test tube babies so they are produced by which technique that is in vitro fertilization or in vitro fertilization what happens in this technique what do we actually mean by this it means that we are going to have fertilization outside the body means fertilization that takes place outside the body fertilization outside the body and when there is fertilization outside the body the same conditions will be there the same conditions are to be maintained so that fertilization can take place when we talk about fertilization we say that there is fusion of sperm and an egg and the fusion of sperm and egg they form what they form zygote and then the zygote is going to divide for example it is an eight celled stage then that eight celled stage zygote is transferred into the uterus and there in the uterus the embryo that we have transferred it becomes fetus and fetus finally grows into a child and there can be the normal delivery of the child so this is what is in vitro fertilization now why do we call it as test tube baby we call it as test tube baby because in this case we are going to have fertilization outside the body so under laboratory conditions what happens in inside the test tubes we are going to have we are going to have the sperms and we are going to have the eggs they are allowed to fuse one sperm is going to enter inside the egg and it is going to form the first cell that is the zygote and this zygote is going to divide repeatedly and form an embryo that that embryo is going to be you know planted transplanted into what into it is going to be transferred into uterus and there in the uterus inside the mother's body this embryo turns into fetus and fetus grows into a normal child so this is how in vitro fertilization takes place right it is this is how in vitro fertilization takes place so remember the what happens we are going to have fertilization outside the body in a laboratory in that situation we are going to have the sperms and the eggs that are going to fuse that are going to form the zygote and that zygote is allowed to divide repeatedly and this forms an embryo that embryo is transfer to the uterus of the mother where actually the child is going to grow normally so in terms of test tube babies let us see an animation how actually in vitro fertilization takes place as you all know that there is ovulation means the release of the egg so when the egg is released that egg goes inside the fallopian tubes it waits for the sperms it waits for the sperms to fuse them you know that only one sperm is going to fuse with the egg and after fusion there is the formation of zygote and the zygote slowly slowly is going to implant itself inside the uterus wall right so this is how the process goes on but under many situations under many cases this does not happen right there are infertility cases so we have assisted reproduction number one is what in vitro fertilization that is ivf that i have already explained you now what is going to happen initially if i talk you in terms of medical sense what is going to happen the the mother is given lot of hormones reproductive hormones you can say and that hormones are going to you know form mature eggs 
and these mature eggs are formed inside what inside the ovaries right so in the ovaries we have many eggs which are mature now so many hormones are supplied so that the eggs can be fully mature and after their maturation the you can say the fluid that is containing those eggs is taken out from the ovaries right so when that fluid which is having those eggs is taken out from the ovaries then they are transferred into uh, you can say in the laboratory conditions in a test tube and in that test tubes we have what we have the semen from the male which contains a lot of sperms so when we have a lot of sperms only one sperm is going to enter inside this egg and is going to form the first cell that is the zygote and then after the formation of this zygote after this fertilization what is going to happen the zygote is going to divide and is going to form this eight cell stage and when there is the development of this embryo this embryo is implanted you can say artificially by this flexible tube inside the uterus so inside the uterus there is implantation of the embryo where this embryo is going to develop into a fetus and this fetus is finally going to develop into a child so there can be now normal delivery so this is how many couples you know opt for this test tube babies or in vitro fertilization this is how they can solve they can have a child they can have a normal and a healthy child so this is one of the technologies that can help the couples to have babies and normal and healthy babies but overall the success rate of ivf that is this in vitro fertilization is just 20% so success rate is quite less that is only 20% so test tube babies survival is quite tough so what is going to happen as a whole the success rate i told you is just 20% so there are many other other options other technologies that the couples can opt for having their children for having their own children for having normal and healthy children now if we talk about the first test tube baby then the name of the first test tube baby was louis joy brown in england you know the successful this test tube baby uh, this technique was used by dr robert edwards and dr patrick stepto and dr robert edwards with was given the nobel prize the nobel prize for you know in for for just using this technique that is in vitro fertilization with dr patrick stepto so in england the first test tube baby named louis joy brown was born and if you talk about india as you know that now test tube babies they are in other countries also they are produced in other countries also so if you talk about in india and in india the first test tube baby was born on 6th august 1986 and the name was skum harsha and the credit for the first test tube baby in india on 6th august 1986 was given to dr indra hind right so dr indra uh, you know go uh, takes this credit for producing the first test tube baby in india at km hospital in mumbai so this was all about in vitro fertilization means fertilization outside the body right so i hope that ivf is clear to you